everybody, welcome to Turtles at, Turtles 4, I guess. Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo. I actually tried to record this game with Jason like a long ass time ago. Um, but for some reason the audio didn't capture, and now I'm playing it with Michael, because why Yay. not? Why not? Because this game is fucking awesome. Have you ever played this game before? I'm not sure. I remember playing a turtle game when I was younger. Oh, uh, okay. Maybe on the same kind of system, but I can't remember exactly if it was Turtles in Time or if it was another one. Right. Makes sense. Yeah, there's been a lot of turtle games. Like, there was a three on the Nintendo... There was this one, there was like a fighting game like called Tournament Fighters. Right. Uh, before I continue on with that, do you want to play on easy or normal? Yeah, let's go normal. Normal? Okay, yeah, for why sure. Not? Why not? And I wonder if we... Oh, well, we should do comic style turtles, because oh. they're really cool. Really? Yeah. Neat. So pretty much this game is like a beat-em-up. It's, uh, it's very simple. There's a few moves you can do where you like hold forward. God damn it. It, it cuts away, like, really quickly from the menu there. It's really strange. Right. Um, but we'll just, we'll go two players, and we'll explain as we go on here. Right. But you can pick any one of the four turtles you want. Oh. So, so oh. I, I believe, like, there's different abilities. Like, Donatello has longer reach. Right, because um, I think I think Raphael is fast and strong. I'm not really okay. sure. Leonardo is also kind of, you know, long reach because of that. Right. I'll pick Michelangelo, because he was yeah. my favorite when I was a kid. Yeah, Raph's always my favorite, too. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think Raphael is a lot of people's favorites. Look at that cleavage going on there! Right? <laughs> always, with, Krang. always with the, like, old Sally Bromeo. Yeah, exactly. Then they made, like, five different versions of her. Right. So the story of this game is that Krang steals the Statue of Liberty. Okay. <laughs> like, we have to get it back, and we travel through time. So yeah, like the Y button's the attack button. Um, if you hold forward, like when they're kind of crouched over, you can like throw them into the screen. Oh, nice. And stuff like that, or you can slam them uh, around. We can also hit stuff at them, like the, the pylons and all that shit, but oh, yeah. Oh, nice. It's kind of like Streets of Rage. Yeah, it's cool. And if you do like a, if you press B and Y, you do like this jump kick thing, you can get a good distance. But you like, you start building up speed when you uh, run around, and you can like do dash attacks and stuff like that too, so. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ooh. Like it, it's, it's pretty simple, but this game is a lot of fun. Like, I think I've played this game more than any other game in my entire life. Really? Except for maybe, like, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, but... Right. Yeah. That's still pretty cool, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, jeez, it's Wreck and Walk on the internet. It's actually, like, uh, one of mine and Jason's favorite games for the Super Nintendo. Um, we always quote it, because there's, like, a, there's a part where you, stuff hits your feet, and they're, they're like, My, my, my toe, my toe! Oh, jeez, <laughs> my toe! It's, it's really great. <laughs> I have a lot of fun with it. It's, uh... They actually re-released re this game on the 360. Uh, it was called Turtles in Time Reshelled or something, but it was the arcade version, and they redid the graphics to be all 3D. It was really bad, though. Really? <laughs> yeah, like, it it lost a lot of the depth that this game has, which isn't really much, which is kind of funny saying that, but... Oh, um, like, there was diagonal walking and all that shit, and it kind of oh. just screwed up the... Like how the game felt. Oh yeah, you want to avoid oh, yeah. his lasers there. You can just jump over him. Yeah, there oh, you go. There Perfect. Go. We will get pizza, so we're gonna have to watch each other's health um, to make sure who needs it the most. Right. It'll be like a little blue box that says pizza on it. <laughs> the tetel, because it completely refills your health. And when you get a certain amount of points, oh, I'm already dead. Holy fuck, oh, Jesus. This is bad on the first stage. <laughs> I guess we do take more damage on normal though, so that's yeah, why. Yeah, we probably. just gotta be really careful. Right. Oh yeah, there's a pizza. So I'll let you pick that up because you got the least amount of health. And we will have, um, I think seven lives and four continues on normal, so we should be able to beat this in one go. Sweet. And, uh, oh yeah, I should mention too, we're all, we're just gonna beat this in like one episode too, because this game takes like a half an hour to beat or something, so right. there's no point in doing like multiple parts. Nope. Okay, we're already at the first boss. Power through! This is gonna be, uh, Baxter, I believe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fly guy, so, <laughs> so he'll, uh, we can jump and hit him in the air. Um, with our kicks and stuff, but he'll come down to eventually when he stops shooting. Yeah, okay. There we go. Kick him in the fucking face. <laughs> Whoa, right in the face. Right in the oh yeah, face. there he is. Now we can just run into him and attack him. Just wail on him. They'll start blinking. Uh, the more they they're blinking. Oh god, I forgot about the hand. <laughs> The hand of stickiness. The more they're blinking, the the closer they are to death, so, yeah. 
pretty easy. <laughs> this game has, also has like one of my favorite soundtracks of all time too. Yeah. It's, it's such an amazing soundtrack. There's actually a game that we could play eventually too uh, called Sunset Riders that was Ooh. made by the same company and it almost has like a very familiar soundtrack oh. to this game. Like. It, it has like the same kind of sound chip or something. Oh, I got hit by that. <laughs> I'm not even paying it. Like, it's kind of hard to tell. There we go. Yeah. Who is who? Because I keep mistaking my red bandana for orange. Yeah, mine what. too. I keep thinking it's me, and then I see the size from Raphael's. Like, oh, that's not my red line. Yeah. bunga. <laughs> also, this is cool too. So if we just oh, listen. Yeah, yeah, like the voice clips in this game are actually like really good. That's cool. Like, really clear and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's really neat. Oh, yeah, if we hit this, uh... Here, we can just smash it against some of the Foot Clan. Oh, nice. Awesome. Oh, that's like the barrel I hit and then it exploded. Right, yeah. Boom, boom. Do you have any fond memories of Ninja Turtles? Like, uh, when you were younger, or...? Oh, uh, let's see. I had, uh... I know when I was a kid, I had this little... Like Michelangelo, like action figure thing, and, and it came with like a little pizza that you could twist it and turn into like a, a ninja weapon. Oh yeah, those yeah, are cool. Yeah, that was really cool. They I had, remember that. They had so many uh, Ninja Turtles toys that were so cool. Like there was somewhere, I think they like collaborated with like WWF. It, well, that's what it was called at the time. Oh, okay. Um, oh god, watch out for him. He's gonna throw that. <laughs> yeah, he throws the sewer lid at you. Jeez. But they they like had uh, turtles that would be, be dressed up as wrestlers and stuff like that. Like, I think there was a Macho Man Randy Savage one. Oh. And it was so cool. You can pick that up. You have a list out for me, so. There you go. You get an extra point for that, too. Ooh, these things, the mousers. Or, no, these aren't the mousers. What are they called? Are these things called again? Uh, Baxter bots? Yeah, I think that's what they are. They're really annoying, though. They have, like, a little whip thing that'll uh, attack you and, like, hold you and electrocute you, and it does a ton of damage. Yeah, there you go, slamming around. You can actually kill a lot of enemies with that, like, if they're around you. Right, yeah. I don't know how to pull it off. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but it's, uh... I did it a few times, but I haven't been able to figure out how I did. Yeah, it seems like when they're crouched over, there's, there's, like, a specific combination of buttons or something. Like, you press forward and hold Y or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. If anybody knows in the comments, let me know, because <laughs> I'd really love to learn how to do that. It's funny that I played this game so much and I still don't understand how some of it works. So. Right. And actually, there's a, a version of this game for the Genesis that was um, they used kind of like the same sprites, oh. but it was called Hyperstone Heist, and it wasn't exactly. Oh yeah, this is cool. You get to spin around. Oh, cool. It's like instant death. Nice. Um, but it was not nearly as good as this game. Like all the bosses were changed and uh, all the areas changed. Uh, around and stuff like that. It was it was quite weird. It's a really expensive game too. Like I think if you want a Genesis version, it's like fifty bucks or something, <laughs> which is ridiculous. I don't know why it's so expensive. That is weird. Yeah. Jesus. But actually, uh, I remember like watching the old TV show. Oh yeah, it's Metalhead. Nice. It's pretty great. Um, watching like the cartoon when I was younger. I used to have like uh, VHS. Uh, stuff and about the cartoon and oh, my yeah. sisters used to love the Ninja Turtles as well. Like, uh, what the fuck was I say? I, I really love the movies, like the little live action ones. Oh, yeah. um, not the newer ones. Like the newer ones are all right. I, I don't hate them as much as other people do, but um, like the first Ninja Turtles movie that came out like 1990, I think, oh, yeah. was so good. Like oh. it, it balanced perfectly. Um, Oh, I think I beat him. Nice. It balanced perfectly, like, the dark aspect of the comic books and, like, the kind of, like, the goofiness of the, the cartoon. Right. And it, it's, it has such a good story. Like, it's it's grounded in reality a little bit. Like, there's no Technodrome and stuff like that. Right. Like, Shredder's just, like, some guy that has, like, a bunch of kids, like, selling shit for him on the right. street and stuff like that. But... I like that about it. It was really cool. Yeah, it was cool. And, like, the second movie is just hilarious. Like... It's really dumb that they couldn't, um, they couldn't use their weapons in the movies, so, like, the opening scene where they're in, like, that, that mall trying to save that pizza delivery guy, oh, yeah. uh, they're just using, like, sausages <laughs> and a yo-yo. It was That's so cool. great. Nice. I fucking love that movie.
<laughs> There's so many quotable things from it, and like right. Vanilla Ice in it. Yeah, I was gonna say that was like that thing always like sticks with me yeah. all the time when I think of that movie. It's crazy. Like, I would love to see another Turtles movie like that, where like they just had actors in suits. But I, I know it was really hard for them, um, for the actors to do that. Oh god, oh Jesus, at least. Yeah, you want to stay forward? Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. My toe, my toe. So he has to jump over these things. Yeah. God, they're just everywhere. Whoa! Good react. Oh fuck! Oh, I, I just got. Oh yeah, these things, they look like fucking xenomorphs. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh my god, not the face huggers! Think, yeah, I think these things are called like, uh, pizza... Uh, monsters or something like that? I can't pizza remember. Monsters. I have no idea, man. <laughs> I, they're really hard to hit, though. They are. I think there's like a, a trick, because they come out like at a certain angle. Oh, I need the pizza. There we go. Nice! There might be another one. So like, we're already in the third stage, and I, bet, I bet you it hasn't even been like 10 minutes yet. <laughs> <laughs> and the, I think the boss is actually coming up. Like, this one's really short. Oh, yeah. It's really, oh, yeah, Rat King. This ah. is a, kind of a cool battle. We actually get to destroy, like, his, uh... Oh, God. His, uh... Little machine here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we gotta avoid those. <laughs> Did you ever, like, have you seen all of the live-action Ninja Turtles movies, like, even the third one? I think I have. The third one was Turtles in Time, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay, uh, the first one I know for sure. Second one... Oh, damn, you just kicked his ass. <laughs> right? Second one, uh, I can't remember that well what it was like, but I'm pretty sure I have. It was, like, The Secret of the Ooze. It had Toka and Razar. Is that the one where they go back in time? No, that was the third one. Oh, right, yeah, that was the third one, right. Mm. I just said that. Yeah, um, it was, like, Feudal Japan or something. That movie's... Not really great, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's not my favorite. Yeah, I don't think anybody really likes it that much. No. Yeah, the first one's like that. That was good. Like, like I said, I couldn't remember what the second one was like, but I remember it being better than, or I liked it better than the third one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the first two are really great, like really good classic movies. Yeah, but uh, like the newer ones, like I, I kind of like them. Um, they they kept true to the characters of the turtles really well, and I thought Megan Fox was alright as April O'Neil. Like right. at least she, like at least they incorporated her into the story, like the turtles being her pets. Yeah. And then got mutated or whatever. Yeah, but that was a nice. Touch. It was kind of cool. Yeah, I thought that was an interesting take on it. I know a lot of people didn't like that, but I was like, well, at least they did something different. You know, like I I hate when something gets rebooted and like they don't do anything different in the story. Right. And it, it's like they've done the turtles so many times, like even like the freaking like CG show that came out like a few years ago, yeah. which was really good. Um, I never watched all of it, but it was pretty good. Uh, it even did some different stuff, which was right. really cool. They're actually working on another uh, brand new Ninja Turtles TV show. Oh yeah, I heard about that. I really don't like the way it looks, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, the designs of them are really weird. It's really comic-ish, kind of thing. Yeah. I heard there was something like they were split up at the start, or... Oh, really? That's kind of interesting. Oh, yeah. like you grab the have less health than this one. All right. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it was, really. I, I mean, obviously, it hasn't released yet. They're still working on it and stuff, but I, I don't know. It looks kind of like Lunatics Unleashed, to be honest. Yeah, it kind of does. It's really strange, like, I don't know, I guess they're doing something different, but, I mean, I was, I was okay with the designs of, like, the turtles in, the, in like, the CG movies, um, no, like, not in the show, but I right. mean, like, the, the newer movies, um, it was, it was weird how giant they were, Right. but, um, I don't know, like, all of them look pretty good except for Michelangelo. His face looked really weird. Oh yeah, speaking of Toka and Razar, here they yeah. are. <laughs> it's kind of cool that they're in this game. So they, I think they, like, yeah... I got shocked. Switch back and forth. Yeah, you want to stay away from that, uh, that little laser gate there. Right, <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot he could freeze you, yeah. And then, like, a Razar, like, blow, uh, has, like, fire breath for some reason. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not really sure why, but it's kind of cool. Fire and ice. Oh, yeah. That is annoying. Ah! I guess it gives them more to do than, uh... Oh, yeah, and then we transform them into a little doggy. Look at it, it's adorable. Ah. You got little fangs here. Turtle. Oh, the turtle's like, oh, I'm on my back. Oh, <laughs> I've been beaten. <laughs> it reminds me of a line from the third Ninja Turtles movie. Help, I'm a turtle and I can't get up. <laughs> like he, like, falls on his back or something. Nice. The only thing I really like about the third movie was like when the 
they switch places with like the Japanese warriors. Yeah, that was. And cool. then they, they go into modern day, and like Casey, uh, Casey Jones gets them into hockey. That and they're, was... just, they're just like super obsessed with hockey. Nice. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. They love hockey. <laughs> yeah. Hockey. That's great. And then they go back to that's real to their yeah. own time. <laughs> oh yeah, that was great. Right. Oh my god, that was great. <laughs> nice. Oh man, such good memories. All oh, right. I wish I was a kid again sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah. But it's great to like, always think back on that stuff because you're just like, yeah, I had a good time when I was a kid. <laughs> right. It's like some kids don't get that, and no. I feel horrible for that. Right. Cause Cause they're like, not quite as lucky as we are. Yeah, it's kind of like, I think of like what they have now, because you got like Marvel movies and stuff like that, yeah. and you think, there's, it's going to be hard to beat that, it's like, what, is, what are they going to have in like 20 years kind of thing? Yeah, I know, right? Like, are they just going to reboot like Marvel movies again or something? Oh, like that? that would suck. Because like, I know, like down the line, like 20, 30 years later, they tend to reboot movies and... Yeah. Yeah. And I stuff just... like that. Like that movie Reboot that's currently coming to Netflix. No, yeah. it's actually a TV show. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, right. Apparently it's fucking terrible, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so with this battle, we have to actually throw the uh, Foot Clan members, the Foot Soldiers, I guess, into uh, Shredder. Shredder, yeah. It's it's cool. Like, this is such a unique idea. Like, because you, you might encounter this move, like, randomly um, when you're playing through the first couple stages. But it, like, the first time I played this game, because I was a stupid little kid, right. um, I didn't know what to do. I was like, how do I even hit him? And then I'd randomly throw something into him, and I'm like, how did oh. I do that? <laughs> yeah, you pretty much have to, like, hit them, and then press forward and hold Y to throw them into him, so... Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that battle's pretty easy, though, once you know what to do. Did he just get flown into the Yeah, screen? he goes into the screen, he's like, we're going back into time. <laughs> like, alright. <laughs> so that happened. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of laughed. I watched a classic episode of the Ninja Turtles, like, somewhat recently. Oh, yeah. And it kind of makes me laugh of how different Shredder is than how you th much of a badass he turns into. Yeah, like, exactly. Because yeah, he turns yeah. into this, like, I will get you, Turtles, next time. As he hides and sneaks, it's like, oh, we're going to get him this time. <laughs> yeah. Turns into, like, a comical villain. It was definitely, like, a thing in the 80s, um, where, like, the villains were comical. Yeah. In a way. Um, like, even Megatron was, in yeah, some ways. Yeah, like, I noticed it, that, too. It made him more likable, though, I think. Like, they, they, you didn't have to take him seriously all the time. Oh, yeah, watch out for the fucking raptors <laughs> lunging at us. I love how we're just in prehistoric times. Yep. Now we're fighting ninjas and dinosaurs. These are odd, like, like really tiny pterodactyls. You think they'd be way bigger than that? I think so. Maybe there's babies. Maybe. <laughs> they just carry the foot soldiers around. They don't really look happy about it, though. No, they like, don't. They're, they're so like, pissed off. They're like, I hate my job. Yeah. But it's a living. <laughs> it's a living. You and can't even kill them, too, which is kind of funny. I guess it would disrupt the time flow or something like that if you <laughs> killed them. <laughs> don't step on a bug. Yeah, pretty Suddenly much. Suddenly we don't have cell phones in the future. Yeah, exactly. Somehow, <laughs> killing a bug just does that. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the person that came up with cell phones just, like, doesn't exist. <laughs> and, and then nobody's smart enough to come up with them somehow. <laughs> he wasn't bitten by a random mosquito, which gave him the thought of the iPhone. <laughs> yeah. That'd be ridiculous. That'd be the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I got bit by a mosquito. Wait, I know, I got an amazing idea for a phone. <laughs> like, what? It's <laughs> the stupidest thing. Right? <laughs> Holy oh fuck. shit. It's so dumb, it's hilarious. Right? Uh, oh, I gotta kick people. it out. Why are they in speedos and helmets? I don't know. Actually, I think they're wearing pants. They just they happen to be the same color oh. as them, which is really weird. It's like, right? why even give them pants if they, they just look like they're wearing belts? Right. Like, they they're like big that floppy like... rock dicks hanging out. <laughs> right? Because you look at them and it's like, why do they just have a belt on? That doesn't... Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, careful with them. Yeah. They're like, hey, April, I'm rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh Jesus! Hold down! Oh my God! That actually reminds me. So there was this freaking Ninja Turtles porno um, oh. that was made that I've heard about. <laughs> oh! I've never actually watched it, thankfully, but I have. Oh, have I you? I forget what it's called. It had it had a pun to it. Yeah, wasn't it like twelve foot long 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Oh no, no uh, T no, Ten Inch Mutant Ninja. Turtles. That's what it was. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> I got such a kick out of it. <laughs> It oh. sounds so disgusting, like, people just dress up as them and, oh, like, God. fucking it's... fuck April O'Neil or some shit. They, oh, there's <laughs> much worse ones, too, actually. Oh, really? The same company made, uh, Strokemon, um... Oh, Strokemon, yeah, I've heard of that, too. <laughs> uh, what was another one? Uh, there was, like, there was, like, five of them, I can't remember what they were now, but there was, like, Ninja Turtles, there was Pokemon, there was... Uh, what was another one? Uh, Married with Children, I think they did. Oh, shit, we gotta actually... We gotta, like, charge attack with guys. There we go. There was a Married with Children one? Yes. That's really fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Ugh, I hate there's this guy. A, there we go. Yeah, there's a lot of weird ones. Uh, Shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Raptors. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck, I got kicked in the face. Oh, I got flattened! I'm oh, dead. <laughs> Son ah, of a bitch. Geez. I'm losing oh. life. Yeah, they do a ton of damage to you. We should save this pizza for the boss, because Slash is, like, easily the hardest boss in this entire game. Oh, for sure. Okay. But yeah, there was, like, what was... I want to... I wish I could remember what they were right now, but it was, like, so many weird ones. I can't even remember. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm guessing... Actually, I think there was a Metal Gear Solid 5 one, too, like, where some chick was dressed up as quiet, and then, like, Snake would, like, try to sneak around, like, a box, and, like, try to get, get to her. <laughs> That's a possibility. I, can't I was like, really? Right. I, can't, I, can't, I don't remember that one, but I remember there was like a bunch of weird ones. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's really hard. He actually blocks stuff, so we gotta be, yeah, like he'll block our attacks. So we have to kind of like trap him between us. It's really difficult to hit him. He's really annoying to fight. So yeah, like, oh, I think he's blocking everything we're doing. A fucking asshole. Right? Ugh, fuck you. Oh, he blocked that too. God damn it, Slash! I hate this boss so much, man. He's, he's so tough. he's so hard. He's ah. he's not as hard as well. I guess I guess it depends. Like Shredder in the on the final battle on hard mode is really difficult because he has like an instant death attack. Oh Jesus! Yeah. So oh yeah, I got him that time. Nice. It's just really hard. Like you have to hit him in like specific positions to get him not to block your attacks. Yeah, there we go. You have to hit him pretty much right before he lands. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Oh, oh fuck. On. Oh yeah, he kicked him out of there. That that works too. Oh no, he did. Ah, fuck you. Nice. Fuck you, Slash. Uh -huh. Ah, got him. If he's just gonna keep jumping, it's gonna make it easy. There we yep. go. Oh fuck, he does like a spin attack. Oh, he's clawing the shit out of me. He doesn't do a lot of damage, thankfully, yeah, which is kind of nope. nice. Yeah. Unless he does that spin attack, because it does like half your health if it hits you. <laughs> Right. Oh, 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 he's flashing. Oh, God, I gotta, yeah, I'm gonna watch. You can only hit him a few times when he's ducked down like that. He'll, he'll start doing the spin attack. There we go. Got him out of the air. Perfect. Oh. I wanna try and beat him before we both like, lose too many lives. Yeah. There we go. Yeah! Nice. That was awesome. Good teamwork. Boom! He's gone. It's way better than the one time me and Jason tried to fight him. It took us like forever. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's that tough. Jesus. Well, Jason's just really bad at this game. <laughs> That's okay. I'm like sorry. we were we were trying to talk and he couldn't like concentrate on talking and playing the game at the same time. Oh, it was kind of okay. funny. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is pretty interesting. We're like on a pirate boat. Oh. Cool. And we get to fight a uh, good old Blackbeard. Uh, Rocksteady and Bebop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I almost forgot their names for a second. I was like, what the hell's wrong with me? They're like the most iconic, too. Yeah, they are. Oh, be careful about those planks with, like, the that little wood thing there. Because oh, yeah. when you step on them, it'll hit you in the face. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just try not to walk onto them. Okay. If it's possible. If it's possible. I think it does quite a bit of damage, so... Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, there's arrow guys. They really weren't aiming for anything there. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. Nope. They just kind of like, they're like, I'm here. I'll shoot at nothing. Unless you happen to be in my way. <laughs> that was how it works. Smoking but we're ninjas. <laughs> we're ninjas in a boat. I guess technically they're robots, but yeah. Ninja robots. Ooh. Oh man, you almost ran into that. That was pretty close. Yeah, I did. I was like, <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh, just... oh, and fuck. yet they can't hit them. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of stupid that they can't run into them, but whatever. Oh, Jesus. Okay, up this way. Up yeah. this way. Stay at the top. 
I love how there's different colored ones too, like so yeah. you can just tell what they're gonna have. Like the blue guys have swords. Yeah. Oh damn, you ran right into it. I did, oh Jesus. Oh I didn't do that much. Nope. Oh fuck. These guys actually did more damage to me than that did to you. Right. Oh yeah, the ah. cannonball. Sorry, I was gonna mention that, and then it was like too late. Oh ah. fuck! <laughs> that actually killed me too, holy shit. Forget. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus. These fucking rock guys, dude. Oh shit. Oh, ah. I almost ran into that. Me too. We gotta get to a pizza. Oh god, you're almost dead. Get up, get up, get up. Okay. I'm gonna okay, try. Okay. You gotta move over. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. No! Oh no! They, oh, they got. Oh, they got me. Oh, you got it. That's why. Okay. I was okay. trying to. Sorry, I was trying to run into them because I thought I had it. Whoops. That's all right. Yeah. I love how it says foot on here. It's like, just be careful. Let's pull foot. off. It's the foot boat. Yeah. The Watch foot boat. your foot. That'd be hilarious if the boat was shaped like a foot. That would be. <laughs> I would love that. Oh, it would just be like the right thing to do. Right. Like the turtles. Right. Because they're just so goofy. Right. Ooh. Oh jeez, that was close. Nice. Oh fuck. And the bombs. Oh, I got you. I got your own pizza. Ah. Boom, boom, boom. Die. Take it down. Ah! It it's just a shame how short these stages are, but I guess it's technically built for like arcades, so. Right. Oh man, it was weird. Like, I completely forgot about this, but on, uh, I think it was like a Kijiji place, like in Regina, like somebody was selling it on in Regina. Oh, yeah. They were selling an, a Turtles in Time arcade cabinet. Oh, that's cool. And it wasn't working, but they said like they would fix it um, before they like somebody bought it, oh. or if somebody bought it, because it was like, I don't know, it was like 1500 bucks or something like that, because oh, arcade cabinets aren't cheap, no. especially when they're like, uh, really rare nowadays, and right. like, and they're like, based off of games that are, are, are games that are really, uh, beloved like this one, Right. so, I was like, I really wish I had the money to buy that, because it'd be so awesome right. to oh, have Jesus. that. Oh, Jesus. Oh yeah, they fucking... <laughs> I don't know what the hell they're doing, but... Being goofy is what they're doing. Because that's what yep. they always do. Oh. They're dressed up as pirates. I think he's just like, picked up fencing somehow. <laughs> On guard! Got the the oh yeah, they do share a health, uh, health goal, which is pretty funny. But they just like kill each other. Nice! <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> just turn them on each other and we just kill them. Yeah. Nice. But I actually think this version of the game is like, it's not a port of the arcade because like they change a lot of stuff, like the bosses and all that, oh. to appeal to a more wide audience, like added a lot of characters from the TV show and all that right. stuff. Right. So, like makes the sense. cartoon. Yeah, it's cool. But I would still love um, like an actual arcade cabinet of this game. That would be, be cool. so fucking cool. I, I know that I actually have the room to put it somewhere. Yes. Because I actually live in a house now. Not like years ago where it was like an apartment. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's when you gotta like have room or like actual space to move around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like your furniture and TV. That's pretty much it. <laughs> no, most likely, yeah. <laughs> and a kitchen. And a kitchen. Gotta have a kitchen. Although I guess granted apartments are become bigger now. They have, it's, like, yeah. They're so expensive to live in. <laughs> Right, some of them are actually the ones with the most space are usually like at least a grand. Yeah, month. exactly. Yeah. But they're like really nice though too, like one of those duplexes. Yeah, exactly. You live in a duplex, right? Or, uh, you know, or something. It's it's a more like a townhouse, I think. Right. Yeah. Because it's like uh, it kind of is like a duplex, but it's like one big building that all looks the same. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, oh okay. I know what you mean. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I remember it's... you telling me where you lived exactly, and I was like, oh yeah, okay, I remember that place. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, mean, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I would say. But yeah, his, uh, I mean, it's it's a really nice place, It's, uh, but I think it should be a little bit cheaper rent if you live on the bottom one as compared to the top, because the top one is, like, so much nicer. Oh, yeah. Plus, you got, like, you park in the front, you go in the front door, and then the back is, like, a huge balcony where you look over the water in the whole city. Oh, that's cool. It is. And then, whereas the bottom one, where, like, where I am, the only thing you get to see is, like, a white fence and a playground. Oh, you grab that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, careful with the barrels. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I dodge that, but yeah. 
Yeah, it must be nice to be at your old shitty place. Yeah, it is, a, it is nice. I kind of like the area that I was in more, though. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. right now, where I am is, is pretty, like, dead for stuff. I mean, you can walk right into the city, no big deal. But, right, uh, yeah. And it's a lot of closer to some stuff, like Preston Park and that, but... Ooh, geez, let go. But, <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah, but uh, there's, like, certain things, like, how close to, like, uh, that... Uh, convenience store that I liked. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, so there's stuff like that, and then a walking distance to Subway that was a little bit nicer. Yeah, Subway's awesome. Yeah. Well, then you got stuff like Mr. Subway actually isn't that either. But... Yeah, that's true, yeah. I haven't been to that place very often. It's, it's nice. It's kind of the same, but I kind of like Subway better, but I am just more towards Mr. Sub. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. And there's also Quiznos. They which... got... Uh, oh, I hate Quiznos. The place fucking blows, man. <laughs> When it... Is it even open anymore? Like... Yep. Oh, okay. Wow. I Let's thought see. it closed. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, fuck. We both died. I was trying to get to the pizza. Yeah, <laughs> I was I'm like, on, shit. Oh, my last little... My last life. Oh, yeah. No, you'll have it continue, though. Thankfully, it doesn't, like, interrupt the, the flow of the game. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Good old Crocodilly. Leatherhead, I think his name is? Yep, yeah, Leatherhead. Yeah. I was trying to think of his name, too. He's great. Fucking cool-ass design for him. I love his fucking hat. <laughs> it's just pink. <laughs> it's great. It might actually be red, but it looks pink. Pink in the uh, arcade great. colors, yeah. Yeah. He just throws knives at you and, like, fucking runs at you like an alligator. You think you would be faster than that, because alligators are, like, way quicker yeah. when they're running. Like, a human can't outrun them, so... Okay, but maybe because I... we're ninja turtles, we can't. <laughs> Oh god, he just fucking whooped you. Yeah, I, I think I I couldn't dodge in time. Press start. Oh. Continue, yeah. There you go. Oh jeez, he spun me around with his tail. I haven't seen that move in a long time. Oh Jesus. Yeah, it's when he does oh, that fuck. thing, I haven't been able to jump in time. Yeah. Oh fuck, <laughs> he just punches me in the face. He's it's like, like no. fuck you. <laughs> ah, I landed on the barrel. Eat a dick. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at him do his little jig out the thing. <laughs> He's like, ah, 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 bye! Well, he is dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very much shell I wounded me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Now, I think Oof. we're... I think we're going to the future now. Ooh, that'll be neat. Yeah, we're like Krang. Yeah, I love how it just show, kind of shows you, like, where you were. and Yeah, it is. This is a really cool stage. It's like an auto-scrolling level. Oh, really? Kind of like the, the underwater one we did. Oh, cool. Except that, it, like, the screen's, like, coming towards you. Oh. This is kind of neat. Yeah, it's like this. I love the background. It's it's so nice. I mean, to, by today's standards, it looks like shit. But yeah, <laughs> it's no God of War or anything like that. Oh no, of course it can't be like God of War. <laughs> Boom. Oh, I fi I finally finished that game recently. Actually. Really? Yeah. It's did pretty you, good. Did you get the Valkyrie Queen too? Yeah, I did. Oh, I fought nice. her on easy though, and even then she was really hard. <laughs> right. It's actually funny. I watched uh, while well, I'm currently working on um, Jack Septic Guy's playthrough that game. Oh yeah. I watched the, the entire story campaign, and then he did um, of the Queen Valkyrie as a separate one because he, he did all the right, others yeah. uh, during the live stream. Oh okay, yeah. Which okay, there's two things with that. A he had a whole lot of trouble with the Queen. And it turned, like, he, like, lots of trouble. Oh, jeez, I am getting shot. Yeah. Oh, he jumped over it, damn. Uh, yeah, the queen is definitely the hardest boss in the game. It, oh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people have fought her on the hardest difficulty, and you die in, like, two hits. Right. Yeah. So if you get hit by anything, you're pretty much fucked. Yeah, um, right, I can't believe that. Because, like, the completionist, the uh, Gerard, I watched a lot of his videos, he actually fought her on the hardest difficulty, uh, and it took him five hours to beat her. Oh, wow. And he barely beat her, like, the last time, too. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I played, uh, well, when I, when I watched, uh, Jack Septica, he did, he did that, and he played through the whole thing. He died, like, so many times. Yeah, she's it was, hard. It was a half-hour video, but... He edited it out, like, basically every time he died, because he, it just got to be too much. Yeah, I was gonna say, that video probably would've been, like, two hours or something if he did it. Like yeah, that. and then, he, at the very end of it, the last, like, five seconds, he's like, What? It was on easy mode? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. That was funny. I specifically chose easy just so I could actually beat her, so... Right. I, I do want to do, like, uh, a playthrough on the hardest difficulty to see, like, how... 
how well I can do. Right. Um, because I know, like, most stuff can kill you in the game in, like, two or three hits. Right. So, because I wasn't really great at the combat, but I would like to get better at it. Right. Um, like, I, I would say I wasn't really trying very much for a while, because, like, once you reach a certain point in the game, um, you, you become, like, really strong and a lot of things don't really have much effect on you anymore, so... Right. Except for, like, the Valkyries. Those were a good challenge the whole yeah. game, too. And I like fighting them and, like, finding out their different, uh... <laughs> look at them Weaknesses? Go. Uh, yeah, they're different, like, um... Move sets and all that stuff. Was, right. It was really cool. That is cool. I liked, uh, their designs for how it was different for a lot of them. And then how, when they did the Queen, how all their ghosts sit in those thrones you come across earlier. You yeah. Know, and then she, like, kind of borrows moves from all of them, too. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I thought that was really cool, too. Yeah. But, yeah, when, um... <clears throat> What was I gonna say before that? He was like, oh yeah, when he did his like live stream during the thing, I'm only about halfway through it, and he was going for a goal of a hundred thousand dollars, and he almost reached that in the first four. Holy shit! Right? Yeah, well, I've seen like a lot of subscribers though. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, the thing is, some of them were donating like five grand at a time though. What the fuck? Yeah. How do people have that much money to donate? Like, I don't understand. I don't know, but he, they, they did. There was uh, one person donating five thousand. One who donated a thousand. One person donated seventy three hundred. Right. Yeah. Oh my god, man. How do people have that much money? I don't know, but it was it was like even he was like, holy shit. Yeah, that's crazy. It was, it was, there was one person who logged into the stream just long enough so they could donate, and I was like, right, yeah. he's, a, he's a pretty respectable dude, though, so it's good to see, like, his audience, like, support him yeah. like that. And he um, does. Same with, like, Markiplier, too. Like. Oh, yeah. I seen, uh, he, but, uh, he did, like, a whole bunch of tours recently, especially yeah. in the States. He actually went to the Game Grumps, too, which is cool. Yeah, he's actually going on another tour, and one of them's gonna be in, like, Toronto. Oh, dude, that'd be awesome. Yeah, so that's, like, the first time that, uh, he's gonna be in Canada, I think. Oh, damn, yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah, like, I guess since he lives, like, overseas, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, cause he's Britain, Scottish. I think? Well, he's Irish. He's but Irish, he's, that's what I meant, sorry. He moved, yeah, but he moved to <laughs> London, I think? Oh yeah, that's right. He did move to London. Yeah. yeah. Right. So I don't. Did. I don't really watch him a lot, but like I hear a lot of stuff about him. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's. Well, how can you not hear him? He's loud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he is quite loud. Yeah. But he's. Oh shit! Watch oh, out for those. They're like ice things. Oh fuck! I just grabbed that pizza. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god! I jumped right into it. Yeah. So they don't actually hurt you until they like rise up. So that's pretty oh, okay. cool. Oh, god. I wish, like, I wish I had an audience like them, because I'd love to do this, like, as a full-time job. Yeah. Um, because I love, like, video games have been a huge part of my life, like, ever since I was really young. Like, right. I'm playing, like, Nintendo at, like, my grandma's and stuff like that, so. Right. And it would be, it would be fun. I've often thought about doing, like, a, a live stream thing for a while, and I yeah. kind of, I kind of would like to, but... I don't know, really know what I would play or how much time I would have to do it in order to get. Because you'd have to play it a lot. To yeah, start out exactly. Yeah. You'd play like some bigger games just to get the subscribers. Yeah. Like I never want to ever go and play like games like Fortnite to get subscribers. Right. Because like once I start going back to this stuff, it's like not gonna matter to them. Right. Like I want people to like like the games like playing. the games that I'm playing, you know? Yeah. Like or just because they're here because of my personality and stuff. Which I know right. a lot of people do watch Let's Players for that, like because of their personality. Right. Um it's like the the same with the game grunts. Like they can be terrible at games but like they're just so funny and just like likable guys that right. you know they don't really care, so... Oh, hey, I got an extra life back. <laughs> nice! I have 600 points, goddamn. Nice. That's good, because I won't have to continue. Oh, yeah, those are going to shoot at me. <laughs> lasers. Ah, <the> lasers. <laughs> I said it way too late. It, it was like, oh, never mind. This already hit you. It was like, what? Was like, ah, the lasers! Oh, my God, I'm shooting my laser! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, like, memes from, like, fucking 2011 or some shit. <laughs> I don't even know how long so, ago that was. Oh, me too. But yeah, there was like, ah, damn it, freaking kunai chiefs. Yeah, I know, right? Jesus. Okay, anyway, but uh, yeah, there's right into the last one. <laughs> anyway, there was like these, uh, I have like two Twitch streamers I watch. One is called 
I can't remember how to pronounce it, like Evie Baby or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's really, she's not like a bigger Twitch streamer subscriber, she's got like a really small kind of base. That's cool though, that's always a good yeah. thing. She does a lot of like rock band kind of thing, that's like her main game, and she's oh, insane that's awesome. at that. I first came across her when she did uh, Breath of the Wild. Oh, cool. And she had a, she was, she was really good at that, but it was, she was fun to watch. Yeah, that's always good. Yeah, there's another person, uh... I forget what, I forget what his screen name is, but it was... Oh, it was like Farez Khan? Something like that? I've never heard of him before. Yeah, he's actually from Calgary. Oh, really? Yeah. That's he, awesome. Yeah. He's, uh, he's really cool about watching. He's like, he's kind of fun. He was playing, uh... Um, what's that one? You you were playing it too recently. The one with the it was like an arcade and you have this great big map and you get masks and stuff. What was it called? Um It's all it's all the big like kind of gothic world. And you get like skull is you get like this little character he's got a skull with horns on it and a cape. Oh oh uh uh fuck what the hell is it called? Oh my god. <laughs> Hollow Knight. That's it. Yeah, there we go. I completely forgot what it was. I was so focused on the game. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. <laughs> um, that's cool. I, Canadian representation is awesome. Yeah. So he's from. He was from Calgary. And I'm kind of watching because he's eating like these nuts or something too. And apparently he's got like a gluten allergy. And he was oh, like, that sucks. He was really. <laughs> he was really cool with. Um, oh, fuck me. Uh, the bubbles. Yeah. They're. <laughs> It's really funny, like how they had like stuff, uh, like the stuff he played. Like Hollow Knight was fun to watch, and there's Breath of the Wild. And then I kind of lost track because he kind of went to Taiwan or something to oh, okay. learn how to be a Tie Fighter. Whoa, really? Yeah. So he did like the IRL thing, where they. Just... Oh, that's fucking sweet. Yeah. So I I didn't get to catch that very much because the only time he streamed was like at two in the morning. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Being a person that works in the morning, it's kind of hard to watch something at the time. Yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, hey, we're at the final boss. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know what he's been playing recently. He actually just signed in as I got over here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so he's he's obviously back in Canada and he's doing streams and stuff again. Oh yeah, I would love to do streaming more often, but um, I feel like it. You have to have like this certain like um thing about you for streaming, like, to be entertaining. Right. I, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, it would just be a lot of fun just speaking with people. That's why I love, like, when people actually comment on my videos, because, like, I actually have something right. to talk to, or some people to talk to, right? <laughs> like, while I'm um, making videos, because that's what... That's what I, I just, that's why I like doing these, because, like, I just have so much to say about video games. Like, you know, stuff that people have said before. Oh, yeah, that's instant death, but I was gonna say. <laughs> the green one is instant death, anyway. Oh, jeez. Yeah. In hard mode, he teleports, like, so fast. Like, it's so hard to hit him. Like, he'll give you, like, a few seconds to, uh, actually hit him, and then that's about it. Oh, he got you with that. You're dead again. Jesus. Oh fuck, yeah, I thought he was gonna hit you again there. Oh shit, I actually have to continue. Oh man, I was hoping I could make it through through the whole game without continuing. So close. Yeah, that was alright though. It's very close. I actually did a lot better than I thought I was going to. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him. But I know uh, there was one of my subscribers that wanted me to stream more because he's like, I really liked your live stream that you did with uh, all those other people on like the extra life thing. Oh yeah. I was like, yeah, it was fun, but. Uh, I'm not doing extra life anymore. <laughs> it's just too much of a hassle. It was it's so hard to stay awake for that long and like Right, the yeah. twenty four hour stream. I can see that would be kinda of that would be very challenging. Unless you had like a switch off or if you had like more people coming at different intervals, yeah. that would be like that energy would keep you awake longer. Exactly. Or just have like a coffee machine continuously. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just more fun when there's more people around. Yeah. Defeat hard mode and you will yeah, okay, whatever. Shredder still wins because we didn't beat hard mode. Oh uh, no. Who cares? <laughs> But there we go, 25 minutes. That's how long it took us. Nice. That's pretty awesome. That is. So, yeah, that was Turtles in Time. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game is great. It brings back a lot of good memories. Um, right. That's why I love uh, the SNES Classic. Oh, yeah, my SNES Classic's hacked, by the way. <laughs> That's how we're playing this. <laughs> and yep. that, that was how we... Uh, I'm playing Donkey Kong Country 3 and, like... Uh, 
a bunch of other games too, like Super Bonk and all that shit. So yep. yeah, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Yep. I know technically it's illegal, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this shouldn't have made it so easy. <laughs> Tune well, anyway, in, tune um, in several weeks from now when we play Mario Kart. Oops. Spoiler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, I think Mario Kart came on since next classic. So okay, yeah. I know there's one where the guy that is actually making one for me, it's gonna have Pokemon on it. Oh, dude, that's yes. awesome! I'm excited for that. Pokemon be great. Yes. Well, anyway, that was Turtles in Time. Hope you, we you guys enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun with this. So yeah. uh, see us in the next video. I'm not sure what we're gonna play after this, but we'll figure yeah. something out. We'll figure it out. Maybe some Mega Man Soccer. Ooh, ooh, shit, that'd be awesome. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. -bye.